Hello, brilliant souls. I feel personally like I have been through a wormhole or a cocoon, getting squished through an intense space of energy and emotion <laughs> since about mid-March, so going on three months now. But what's been really beautiful, it's like this week it hit the peak point of intensity and intense emotion. And I let go of something. I let go of a situation I'd been clung on to, that I had clung to. And then I was like, you know what? I need to work with my essential oils. And let me tell you, I love all the physical benefits of essential oils. But I have to say, for me personally, what I get most excited about is the emotional benefits that essential oils, breath work, and meditation bring to us. And I especially get excited about this blue book, Releasing Emotional Patterns with Essential Oils. So I want to take you on a little journey through an emotional reset because I have seen and felt and experienced the power of it myself this week. And I'm really amazed. I'm in awe how much just doing these protocols has helped me. So if you want to join me in this, I want to encourage you to get oregano, if you have it, purification. This has been my best friend to help me <laughs> release some stuff. The blend release. And then I have two more for you. We're going to do three rounds of detox clear, let go of the negative. Before we do two simple rounds of boosting up, charging up, getting ready for amazingness. And to help us with that, we're going to open the heart up with joy. And we are going to boost our inner vision. Ah, there we go, with envision. So grab those oils, oregano, purification, release, and then joy and envision. And once you are ready, we are actually going to start with clearing general toxicity. And one more thing for this. If you can do this outside, that's great. If not, I want you to sit near a window and open that window a bit. Because we're letting stuff go. We want to symbolically open that window to just symbolize letting it go. We're clearing it. We're processing it. We don't need it anymore. Send it out. Don't keep it in the house. Don't keep it in our bodies or our energy fields. So enough said. Let's get started with this. I'd like you to actually go ahead and close your eyes before we put any oils on. And I want you to tap into the feelings and sensations of toxicity. Toxicity from general stress, emotional toxicity, chemical pollutant toxicity, perhaps from the environment you live in, breathing in automobile exhaust, toxicity from foods, preservatives, chemicals that we get exposed to. Feel this general sense of toxicity. Feel the emotions that come up around toxicity of all forms. How it makes your body feel. How it wears on you. And now, when you are ready, I'd like you to take your oregano, and we are going to place a drop of oregano onto the palm, Remember, oregano is a little intense, so we want to be very careful with skin sensitivity. If your skin is sensitive at all, dilute, 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 especially oregano. Once you've got it, rub your palms together, make a scent tent. We're going to breathe in deeply, in and out through the nose, leaving a gap at the bottom of our scent tent so that the breath is easy. Breathe in and out through the nose as we feel the other side of toxicity which is actually quite beautiful. It is transformation. Feel what transformation feels like. And if you need to tap into an emotional memory where you felt transformed, you felt like a new person, revived, restored, risen from the dead, tap into a memory like that and bring back the emotion around that memory. One more breath, breathing in your oil. Tapping into transformation. Now, again, this is where we want to be careful for the skin sensitivity. We are going to place oregano on what is called the connector alarm point. 
and all of this, by the way, is coming from our wonderful blue book. The connector alarm point is right about here, behind the jawbone, below the ear, on both sides. We're going to take a drop of oregano, or dilute, 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 if you have skin sensitive skin, and we're going to get right here and right here, and just rub it in gently. If you'd like to join me, we're going to put the oregano in a few other places, and I highly recommend dilution for the rest of these if your skin is sensitive. We're going to go for the emotional points. Being that the emotional points are over the eyes, you especially want to dilute, and you want to put a tiny amount on so you're not getting this into your eyes. The emotional points are right here. We're just going to rub that in very gently, make sure it all thoroughly rubs in. Next, we are going to go for the interior fontanelle, which is at the top of the head. And then we are going to go for what is called the filter points. The filter points are about one and a half to two inches above the hairline, and you're going to go on the left and right side of the back of your head, like this, left and right side of the spine. The filter points, actually, when we apply the oils there, they help to keep us from falling back into the old patterns once we have cleared them. And then finally, we are going to go for the release point, which is right at the hairline um, at the center of the spine. So right about here. Hope you can all see the back of my head when I do that. All right, once you've done that, we are going to make the scent tin again. You are going to be smelling very much like oregano. Bring that scent tin up to your nose. Deep breaths in and out. And I'm going to give you a way out statement to use. Your way out statement is this. Into the void. And this represents passing through the eye of the needle. Going into the eye of the hurricane. Going to that still small space within you. What I'd like you to do is deeply inhale this oregano and out loud say into the void and imagine yourself going into that still small space within. Let's do that two more times. Deep inhale in. Say it with strength. Into the void. One more time. Deep breath in into the void with your eyes still closed going into that still small space within is how you attain transformation how you move beyond what seems like limitations of being in a human body on a limited planet but into the void that is a place of infinite possibility and within you is that place of infinite possibility Beautiful. Next, I would like us to work on clearing negative or erroneous thinking. Now, this one is so good to work on. And this is the one I have especially been working with this week. I've been using purification to help me clear out negative thoughts, erroneous ways of looking at things. And so what we're going to do, I don't want you to put your oil on yet, but have purification handy. And I encourage you to close your eyes. And I want you to think of any ways you have recently been thinking very negative. Or even speaking very negative things aloud. Complaining. Pessimism. Think about how negative thinking, obsessing on negative thoughts, speaking negative things. How that affects the way you feel overall and allow any other associated emotions to arise. Once negative thinking, erroneous thinking, once that is fully at the surface of your awareness, we are going to do a little work with our purification. So go ahead and open your eyes, place one drop, oops, there we go, one drop on the palm of your hands, Rub your palms together, make your scent tent, close your eyes. Oh, this is so refreshing. Deep breath in. And I want you to feel the other side of negative thinking, which is truth. What does truth feel like? 
Continue breathing in and out of this scent tent through the nose. As you think of truth, tap into an emotional memory of truth. A time when you encountered truth and it liberated you, gave you hope, encouraged you, inspired you. Feel that. Bring all of that memory of truth and how it radically helped you to the surface of your awareness. Beautiful. Now we are going to apply purification to what is called the bacteria alarm point. It's very easy to find. It's just one inch above your navel. So place a drop of purification on one finger and go one inch above your navel and rub the sin gently to that point. Remember, Dr. Mind, who wrote this blue book, tells us that these alarm points on the body are about the size of a half dollar. If you've ever seen a half dollar, they're bigger than a quarter. So you got some space in there. It's not like a tiny little precise point that you must get exactly right. And once you've placed it on the bacterial alarm point, we are going to apply to the rest of the points that always stay the same when we do this protocol. Get a little purification on two fingers, and we're going to go for the emotional points. I will move through this rather quickly. If you need to pause, please feel free to do so. We're going to go for the anterior fontanelle at the top of the head. Next, we are going to go for the filter points that keep us from falling back into the old negative patterns. Left and right side of the center of the spine, about one and a half to two inches above the hairline. And last but not least, we will go for our release point. It is right about at the hairline. I'm not the best to show a hairline, but right about at the hairline in the center of the spine. All right, once you've done that, let's make that set 10 again. Bring those hands up to your nose. We're gonna take deep breaths in and out through the nose. And I'm going to give you a way out statement. And the way out statement is, I let go of illusions. Now I want you to say this out loud several times and I want you to say it like you mean it. Even if you don't quite yet feel like you mean it yet, say it like you mean it because it's gonna help you get there. Deep breath in of this purification, breathing it into every cell of your body. And as you exhale aloud, I let go of illusions. Deep breath in again of purification into your emotional field. As you exhale, I let go of illusions. One more time, breathe purification into your entire energy body. And as you exhale, I let go of illusions. Beautiful. Keep your eyes closed as you think about what it means to be done with illusion. To be done with thinking negatively, thinking in a way that limits you, holds you back, keeps you inside of a box. You're done with that. And now you're free to see your truth, walk in your truth, live in your truth. Beautiful work, everyone. I have one more that we are going to work on. We are going to clear the fear of success. And this is a sneaky one. This is one that we often don't realize we're gripping onto. To help us clear the fear of success, we are going to work with the blend release. Now what I want you to do, first and foremost, close your eyes. And I want you to think of those goals you have, whether they're business goals, relationship goals, personal, financial, whatever the goals may be, the things that you've wanted to be successful at, but the success has felt elusive. Feel that fully. Feel anything else that comes to the surface. Why haven't I done this yet? Why hasn't this happened? What if there's this subtle fear of the deeper level? Well, if I am successful, Will that make me fail in other areas of my life? Will that make me egoic? Now, I want you to take your release. Place one drop on the palm of your hands. Rub your palms together. Make your scent tent. Deep breaths in and out through the nose. 
beautiful. And I want you to feel the other side of the fear of success, which is acceptance. Keep breathing in and out through the scent tent, eyes closed. As you feel acceptance, what does it feel like to accept your destiny? What does it feel like to accept the fullness and the greatness of who you are and who you came here to be? What does it feel like to accept that you are a powerful soul being with a mighty, mighty, loving, divinely appointed purpose? Accept that. Beautiful. Go ahead and open your eyes. We are going to apply this to some more places. And for this, I'm going to show you, well, it's hard to show you, but we're going to go for the outside of the fourth ribs on your left and right side. So once you find one, two, three, four, right about here, but you need to go under your shirt to access it. We're going to get a drop of release and place it on the fourth rib close to, so we're gonna be going right about here, almost to the side of the body, almost. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the right side, fourth rib, almost to the side of the body. Beautiful. Remember they're half dollar sides, you don't have to get it pin prick, perfect and accurate. And once you've done that, let's go ahead. I'm gonna go through this a little quickly because this is our third round with clearing. These next points always stay the same. Place some release on your emotional points. Place some release on the anterior fontanelle at the top of the head. Place some release on your filter points, which keep you from falling back into the pattern once you've cleared it. They're about one and a half to two inches above the hairline, left and right of the center of the spine. And one more, the release point, where once we've processed this stuff, this point helps us let it go. That is right at the hairline, right in the center of the spine. And once you've got that down, here we go. Close your eyes, make your scent tent again. And your way out statement is, I accept awareness. I want you to breathe this oil into every fiber in your physical body. And as you exhale out loud, say, I accept awareness, awareness of your truth, your power, your divine purpose. Deep breath into your emotional field. As you exhale aloud, I accept awareness, seeing the big picture. One more time, breathe this oil into every part of your energy being. And as you exhale, I accept awareness. Eyes still closed. As you let that awareness sink in, that awareness that you are not here to shrink back and be destroyed. You are not here to be weak and small and hide in the corner. You are here to be strong, mighty, powerful, loving. You are here to be an agent of change, a light bearer. One who helps others transform and awaken. And you are, you have everything you need to do that. All right. If you need to close your window for the next part, go ahead and do so. Won't take long to finish this. And I thank you for sticking with me. This is such a powerful practice. So powerful. It just takes 20 something minutes to do it. So we're going to do the fun part now. We cleared the junk. We processed it, we released it, we worked through it. We have come through the wormhole, we are emerging from the cocoon, and now it is time to open our hearts. So grab your joy. We are going to do our best to get it on the front side of the heart and on the back side of the heart. I'm flexible because I do yoga. If you can't get it on the back side of your heart, that's okay. We're just gonna get it on the front. But place a drop onto your palm, reach up under your shirt, and rub it into your heart very generously. And I'm actually going for the back side of my heart as well. Place a little on the back of your hand, and then use the backs of your fingers to rub it in to the back side of your heart. When you're done, put your cap on. Oh, let's make sure you can smell it on your hands. 
I used to not like joy, but let me tell you, I've been working with it a lot lately. It is opening my heart and I'm getting to where I like it now. So deep breath in, breathe this joy into your heart. And as you exhale, visualize a lotus flower with a thousand petals opening and unfurling oh so beautifully. Breathe in deeply again into your heart. And as you exhale, picture that lotus flower actually illuminating the space around it with a bright light that comes from within. Deep breath in one more time to the heart. And as you exhale, this lotus flower is in full bloom, all its glory, bursting forth with light. And it can stay this way for the rest of your life. It does not have to close up. It does not have to wither and fade. Beautiful. And last but not least, we are going to get an inner vision of your success. We cleared the fear of success. We cleared toxicity, negative thoughts, things that were standing in the way. Now, let's grab our envision. Love this blend. It's got geranium in it. We are going to place one drop in the center of the forehead, the energy center that is responsible for our inner vision, helping us to envision and see what all is possible, helping us to tap into divine guidance, wisdom, and intuition. And then I'd like you to place a drop on the palm of your hands. Once again, rub those palms together. Make a scent tent. Close your eyes. Breathe in deeply to the center of your forehead. And as you exhale, Allow yourself to envision. Just continue breathing in and out through the nose as your inner vision opens up and right here in your mind's eye, the soul paints a picture for you of imminent success, enjoying the success, allowing the success, allowing yourself to be big, to be powerful in such a loving way, seeing and allowing yourself to fully live out the entire divine purposes, the entirety of your divine purposes for your life. Take two breaths in silently as you envision this success, completion, wholeness. Whenever you're ready, bring your hands down to your sides. You have emerged from the wormhole. A wormhole that might have felt like it was constricting you and squeezing you. You have emerged from the cocoon, the place that felt so constricted and boxed in. But in that space of constriction, you did major work on yourself, major transformation. And right now, in this moment, not in the future, right now, you have emerged. You are whole, you are strong, you are mighty, you are powerful. I am so excited for you to be out there in this mightiness, in this power. Let me know if I can ever be of assistance to you or give you some guidance along the way. Much, much love.